Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and today we have an exciting video today, okay? I am super excited for this video, but before that, before I get started, can we please talk about my nails? I did it myself. I'm not a nail tech, okay? I haven't had my nails done for five months because of this stupid COVID situation, but look at this. I just did them. And yo, I feel like a new person, okay? I'm just a whole different person now. But um, if you do want a tutorial on how I did this, let me know down below, okay? I got you. So you can save that cash money, honey, okay? Because you know, college student got no money to spend on nails because these are expensive. All right, now let's get into the video. All right, guys, today we're going to review this right over here I am so excited like y'all don't even know I've been watching my girl for years now Nasnin Kavari did a um, collab with BH and came up with these brushes this is so cute and she's thriving okay with her little baby son now I'm gonna show you all the products try it on on my face and so yeah if you want to know what the brushes are like and how they work, how they're on my face, please keep on watching. And before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below what would you want next. And also don't forget to, don't forget to click that notification bell so you can actually be notified when I upload my video so you can watch it when I upload my video. All right, let's get started. It looks like, ooh looks like this this is so cute love the sleek black look it's very simple and i love that because i'm a person that likes simple things i don't like too much crowded situation going on so first and foremost i love the package the package the bag right over here it's a really nice traveling bag i think this is big enough to fit like brushes i love bags like this for that yeah let's go inside Ooh. Dude, I knew I was going to love the inside. She showed it in her video. And I just knew I was going to love the inside because it's lime green inside and black. Guys, fun fact, but I literally wanted my room in middle school. Like, in elementary and middle school, I literally wanted my room black and lime green painted. But <laughs> my mind changed. But this is so cute. I love that. I love the pop of green inside nine brushes inside and they're all they come in a packet like this so the brushes and the bag retails for 27 dollars and with shipping it was like what like 32 or something it was 32 yeah and uh with tax and everything and i think that is such a reasonable price for brushes i mean it's nine brushes it's face and eye brushes so you get the brush bag and also the brushes in size and I think that's an amazing price, $27. Like, I was really surprised to see the price point because, like, that's very affordable for, like, nine brushes. That's amazing. So I'm going to start with a number seven brush, and it is a flat shader brush. So I actually use this kind of brushes to um, clean out my brows after I do them with concealer. So I'm going to actually use this one first because I do my eyebrows first all the time. use the number seven brush right over here and um, clean up my brows and honestly it worked really nicely like a normal flat brush like this would to carve out my brows so I'm happy with it this is the number two brush this is the foundation brush right over here by the feel of this kind of weird but does not feel like a um, what do you call it a foundation brush it's very soft so hopefully it's gonna work all right, so I'm actually going to go in with my Bare Pro Mineral um, Foundation, my fave babe. I love using this foundation to try new brushes or products because I know this is my holy grail foundation. Okay, first and foremost, I'm really liking the application of this brush. Like, it applies very 
softly and I love that. Like I really am liking the way it applies. Like it doesn't do such a heavy application uh, and it does not take any product in. I love that. Like you cannot see any product left on this brush, which is amazing because your girl does not like wasting products. So I'm really actually liking this a lot. Okay, let me go in with another layer because, you know, your girl's full coverage. Y'all, so I just did my foundation with that brush. And guys, I'm not going to lie to you, but I really didn't think this would be a good foundation brush because how soft it was. But guys, I actually really liked it. Like, the brush was actually really good. And... Yeah, guys, 10 out of 10 for this brush. I love this brush. It's really nice. I'm definitely going to be using this more often. So first, I'm going to be using the number 6 for the eyes. It's this fluffy brush right over here. I'm going to take my favorite Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette right over here, the textured neutral palette. And I'm going to grab the shade um, Soothe right over here. And I'm going to go in my crease. There you go, that's suit on the lid with the brush. And honestly, the brush is really nice. And yeah, it's so soft. I love the brushes, they're very soft. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade Ritual right over here and just gonna do the same thing, but like keep it like right over here, yeah. Guys, I'm trying to do the eyeshadow like hers, but you already know she has a lot more eye space than I do. My lids are so small, I cannot do anything, but it's not gonna be as pretty as hers. But you know, just trying to do it like her. Fluffy brush, it was really nice, very easy to work with. No shedding at the moment, so we're happy, okay, because they're affordable and sometimes brushes be shedding like on the first use These are not shedding so it's great grab the shade right over here soothe uh, metallic And I'm using the number seven brush from our collection and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lid You know, I just noticed this would be a really good brush to do a cut crease, but your girl does not have the patience today to do a cut crease, okay? I'm sorry. Well, you know, this brush is doing a really good job packing on product. Usually some brushes don't do that, but this is doing a really good job packing on this product. All right, so next I'm going to be using the number 9 brush, and it's this flat edge detailing brush. That's what it's called. Um, I'm actually going to get a darker color and just kind of like smudge that area out and make it look like an eyeliner when I'm not wearing eyeliner because I don't like wearing eyeliner. Memory Matte right over here, these two. And I'm just gonna go really close to my lash line and create like a, you know, smoky eyeliner effect. I love how this brush worked. It did exactly what I wanted it to do is to like do like eyeliner effect without actually putting eyeliner on. So yeah, I really like that. So off camera, I just did my concealer and my cream contouring really quick. A tapered under eye brush and that's gonna be the number four brush right over here. So for powder, I'm gonna be using my favorite Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Light Powder right over here. And I'm just gonna grab some on this brush. By the way, guys, these brushes are so soft. Like, I don't keep saying that, but it is so soft. Okay, so I'm gonna go right in. Oh yeah, the brush is really nice. And like, it fits right under to my eyes. So now let's use the number one brush and it's called a powder brush but she specifically said um this is for actually the bronzer um which is weird 
because it's named the powder brush, but um, it's her product. She can name it whatever she wants to, honestly. This brush is a little too big for me for bronzing, but I kind of like it. I feel like I have to get used to it use, since I actually use like a very small bronzing brush. I know you're supposed to use like a big brush for bronzing, but I tend to go with like this and then the size is, you know, this is bigger than this. This is my usual bronzing brush. So yeah, and I'm actually going to be using her number eight brush. This is her smudge brush. I have a ritual right over here. grab smooth here with her number six brush and then just go in and just like kind of blend everything out buff everything out i really like the smudging brush that was so good to do the under eye that was like so easy I really like the smudge brush 10 out of 10 yo 10 out of 10 i'm actually gonna use the smudging brush again i'm just gonna dip it in this pan and just take out the dark color and I'm just, I'm actually going to use this to highlight my inner corners because I feel like this is a very, like, what do you call it? Very universal, multi-use brush. Take my Jaclyn Hill, um, Jaclyn Hill Balm Loose Highlighter right over here and put that in my inner corners. I'm going to be using her number three brush. It's called the Angled Blush Brush. I feel like this is the perfect, like, blush brush. Blush brush. And, yeah, it's, like, angled and it's fluffy but not too big. And, yeah, it's, like, controlled. But, yeah, let's do the blush with this. With my Catrice Golden Corral blush right over here. One of my favorite blushes ever. And I'm going to grab that. such an this is such a nice brush yo i'm i know i keep saying that but like 10 out of 10 i'm really liking the brushes and how affordable it is yo the price and the quality wow divine that's all i gotta say for five brush and it's called the highlight brush um and guys this is like the perfect shape i always use this type of brush to highlight so this is this is really i'm gonna grab my jacqueline hill palette right over here the flash palette and i'm gonna grab Ooh, what do I want to grab? I'm going to grab this, this two shades. Really like the brush. I love how flat it is. I actually really like that. It's very easy to apply the highlight. All right, so I'm actually going to do my lips really quick, and I'm going to come back and tell you my final thoughts 10 out of 10 actually 12 out of 10 100 out of 10 because i feel like for the price point y'all the brushes are like beyond they're amazing like they're literally amazing my favorite brush probably from the collection has to be um the under eye brush the under eye powder brush and the foundation brush and the smudging brush these three are my top favorites the number eight, the number two, and the number four. They were amazing. Yeah, um, congrats to Anazneen Kavari for her collab with BH Cosmetics. It was amazing. BH Cosmetics and Naz killed it. Um, yeah, that completes my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you came this far, you're freaking amazing.